weather we go. Another gorgeous day, Mr. Paget, in this holiday week. Yeah, pretty nice. I think that some of the cooking's already going. I don't know why, but sweet potatoes with the marshmallows on top is on my mind right now. And we'll be the next couple of days as we get closer to the holiday. And some people have off, so tonight they're around that Christmas tree there in Sundance Square getting that beautiful picture. I love this shot during this time of the year. Temperatures right now sitting in the mid 40s with calm winds being reported. Let me back up real fast just to show you that we do have those temperatures sitting in the 30s with some of our major reporting stations there in Tarrant County. Arlington also sitting at 37 degrees, Keller at 43. So across the Metroplex, colder in Denton at 36, you're at 39 in Frisco. So you will need that coat tomorrow morning across North Texas, just above the freezing mark in Bridgeport and Bowie with clear skies overnight tonight. Those temperatures will continue to drop their way down in parts of the Metroplex, probably into the mid 30s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, dipping down to near the freezing mark up near Paris. Tomorrow, I do expect our winds to be out of the south southeast. So it's going to be a warmer day. We'll see a little bit more cloud cover as well. Temperatures into the low 60s, possibly. And then late in the day, a small chance of a couple of showers popping up. You see that on the future sky forecast for tomorrow, we could see a little bit of shower activity here or there late in the day. And then after that, we'll see those clouds to hold on for us. And going into your Thanksgiving holiday, that cloud cover will stick around, and high temperatures will be in the upper 50s to the low 60s. But high pressure really has been in charge. It's starting to shift its way to the east. But take a look up towards the northeast. Where it was snowing today in Maine. We have some video to show you coming out of Maine. This is in Sanford. Look at that beautiful shot there. Uh, you can see all the, the geese just hanging out. The, I think those were geese, yeah. Uh, the, the people driving through the snow there in Maine as that area of low pressure is pulling its way northeast. So you can see on that future sky forecast that area of low pressure is out of there. Another area of low pressure pulling its way into New York means some snow is in the forecast for tomorrow, and you can see some rain over towards the west coast. Much needed rain in parts of California and the Pacific Northwest. But if you're staying closer towards the Lone Star State, Austin seeing 58 for uh, tomorrow. 59 for Thanksgiving, 60 in Houston as well, with partly cloudy skies on the way. So your Thanksgiving holiday, 62. Friday, 70. Rain chances, 40 percent. We have another cold front passing through Saturday to Sunday, cooling us back down. Sunday is going to be a colder day and a breezy one at that. And don't forget to head to cbsdfw.com and search for Movember. Right now, we're more than three thousand dollars. We need more help in the last 10 days. If you're heading out of town for the Thanksgiving holiday, there's some delays you may want to know about that are outside of the DFW Metroplex. One of them is through West Texas. I-20 near Strawn is under construction right now, so expect delays there. And also in Central Texas, 35W south of Waco, before you get to Temple, there's a lot of construction zones. And then over close to the Louisiana border, as you're entering Shreveport, I-20 is down to just one lane in both directions. The best alternate route there would be to utilize Highway 80.